Tri-County Live, presented by Davenport Auto Park, bringing you the best from Nash, Wilson, and Edgecombe Counties. Now let's join our hosts in the studio. Good evening and welcome to Tri-County Live. I am your host tonight, Clint Williams, and tonight I have a guest, uh, a friend of mine who I, I met through social media, and it's it's uh, convenient that that's the case because tonight we're going to talk a little bit about social media. We are. Uh, but my guest is Anne Marie Vandenhoek. 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 Yes. I, I, I butcher it every time I say it. I'm sure everybody else does. It does. I'm just known as Anne Marie. Anne Marie, so. and, and and that's how I know you. That's what I call you as well. Um, but. Uh, Anne Marie is a, um, is, a, is a person of many trades. She is an author, she's a columnist, she's a public relations professional, and one of her specialties is crisis management in, in the area of public relations. And uh, she was recently a part of the social media forum in uh, Tarboro for the teens and social media specifically targeting things around the sexting scandal that went on when uh, Chief Williams from Tarboro Police had the forum over there. Um, so welcome. Well, thank you for having this. It's exciting. Excellent. Well, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, because the first thing, and we talked about this in the green room, we have this awesome green room. Trust me, you need it to come visit gorgeous. the station. It's <laughs> Just, it really is, seriously. Um, but one of the things we talked about is, well, you're not from around here. No, I'm not. I've, I've been on quite a journey, mm -hmm. uh, originally by, uh, from Ireland. Um, so technically, I am a southerner. Technically, I Southern Ireland? Yes, actually, I'm from Wexford, which is part, uh, southernmost part of Ireland. Um, and uh, made my way through many states, mm -hmm. and including Delaware, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, and now here in the lovely state of North Carolina. Well, Kentucky, Kentucky is horse country. There's a lot of horses in Ireland, so I'm sure that had yes, a lot of, a lot of yes. nice f familiarity to it. A lot of basketball in Kentucky as well. Say that word again. Basketball. <laughs> Yeah, the Kentucky folks aren't real happy right now, and that's okay, because no. I'm not a big fan of Cal no, Perry, no, but no, that's another no, story. No, 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 <laughs> no, no that, that, that's, yeah, that's for another second. There you go. <laughs> but you are, again, a person who has a lot of expertise in, in a medium that, in, in Eastern North Carolina specifically, is maybe not as familiar with the, the complexities of social media. And so for our audience out there, let's start off with the 50,000-foot view of what is social media. Um, social media, to me anyway, is a way of connecting people. Mm -hmm. that for, that's what it is, social media. Okay. And it's a way people can communicate, talk about different uh, topics that interest them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it can vary from, say, social networking mm -hmm. platforms such as Facebook or Twitter, Pinterest, mm -hmm. Instagram, YouTube, uh, to blogs, right. news outlets. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, the line between blog and news has gotten a little blurred over the last 10 years. There, there's plenty who consider themselves news organizations, but they're blogging. And there's plenty of bloggers who don't consider themselves news organizations, but sometimes they get lumped in with them. Is that part of, uh, in public relations, part of what you would manage for some organizations in social media? Uh, definitely. I mean, I think right now um, all of the profession, you know, public relations, marketing, uh, journalism, uh, all the lines are starting to blur due to social media. Um, you know, for example, with, with like you were saying about news organizations and mm -hmm. blogging, you know, now the, you know print has websites, mm -hmm. TV has websites, and it's allowing journalists long form. Mm -hmm. So what you mainly only be able to talk about, say in you know a sixty second story on television, you now can expand it online to be more in depth and even create a discussion. You can put more meat on the bone. Put more meat on the bone. And you know, the same thing goes for public relations professionals. I mean, it, it social media is allowing us a direct way to communicate with the public. Mm -hmm. It's no longer broadcast out, you know, down, uh, right. up and down, it, it, or down and up. It's now more interaction, more listening. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's more integrated into traditional media marketing, the traditional mm -hmm. companies. But again, a lot of our, our, our viewers, in, in this yeah. case, may not even be aware of the complexity that social media has evolved into. Most people may think it's, you know, somebody posting a hot dog on a photo on Facebook or, or the latest Instagramming mm -hmm. of somebody, you know, going for a jog or a dog jumping off a, 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 a pier or something like that. 
tell us a little more about how business is integrating social media and why it, it's important for business, whether they're small, whether they're large, to do so. Well, I think what's very important about social media for businesses right now is the fact that it gives you direct contact with your customers. It, it can be become it can become personal. It, it's a great way to listen to your customers without, you know, formally approaching them mm -hmm. and saying, you know, here is a survey. Can you take this? Right. It's it's more allowing businesses to listen. It's more of a positive interaction on a more human level. Right. Excellent. All right. Um, as a as a PR professional, it, maybe again for our viewers out there, why would somebody hire you to to help them with their public relations, not just necessarily social media, but public relations in general? Can't they send up press releases and do it all themselves? I mean, I certainly, I mean, they certainly could. And it's not just press releases, but that's kind of the the assumption with public relations is you're sending out press releases. That's kind of all you do. Right. Yes. Unfortunately, a lot of people think that's what it is. It's media relations, but it's much more than that. It's it's listening. It's developing strategy. It, mm -hmm. It's helping businesses reach their goals through communications, through interacting with, as we say, stakeholders, but basically people that matter to them, mm -hmm. be it their customers, their shareholders, and their staff. So what I am able to do is put that all together. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, for many of small businesses, uh, you, have, you wear so many hats, I and mean, you can't be it all. You right. know it all. They try to be it all. Exactly. But you, 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 if you try to be everything to everybody, you'll be nothing. Exactly. So one thing I always suggest to biz small business owners is bring people in on your bus that have the expertise. Be it me as a public relations marketing professional, I can help you interact with your customers and gain more customers based on research and planning. Uh, the same with get an accountant in to help you with your financials and bookkeeping. I mean, just get the right people on your bus to move your business forward. Now, that's a new concept. Most people, most businesses probably think of an accountant or CPA that mm -hmm. helps them with their books or at least bookkeeping. They, um, most small businesses, if they're, say, retail, have a, a business manager, somebody who kind of helps mm -hmm. them keep the basic operations going while they're on the floor selling or something like that. But the concept of hiring a public relations professional from a small business standpoint is not the most common thing. How, how do you approach that in the conversation with them? Because they probably think they can't afford it or it's not something that they need. Well, I think, I think, you know, it's, it, it, I think people think that they can't afford it. But oftentimes you can't afford not to. Mm -hmm. Because how are you effectively communicating your product? communicating basically your story hmm. to your customers, to your community. Um, I can help you do that by working with you. Now, does it matter that you're in Tarboro, North Carolina? That's, it doesn't matter at all, actually. Um, a good portion of my clients, uh, I do have lots of wonderful clients here mm -hmm. in Edgecombe County, but however, a good portion of my clients are actually glo uh, national and global. Right. So I can work... And I knew that. That's the reason I asked the question. <laughs> I can work with anyone, uh, anywhere, basically. Mm -hmm. um, because but that's the benefit of the Internet. That is the benefit of technology. I mean, technology has enabled us to be so flexible and so mobile. I mean, I left my phone in my bag right now, and I feel completely naked. <laughs> uh, but, you know, with having you know, a smartphone that has just enabled, it has untethered many of us from our offices. Right. That I can be anywhere. I mean, for example, I can shoot video for a, for a client mm -hmm. when I'm out in the field on my smartphone, edit it on my smartphone, and then upload it to YouTube th to their, their YouTube channel. Right. I mean, technology is a wonderful thing and has enabled a lot of us in order to, to get out and, and be with our community, our customers, our, yeah. Well, and, and you know, that's one of the good things about hiring a professional or, or working with a professional is they, they can do those kinds of things for you. And you may not be aware, even as a small or a large business, that mm -hmm. there is a professional in our community who can help businesses here locally or, you know, globally. So. I have iPhone will travel. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, well, we do need to take a quick break and uh, pay, a f uh, pay a few bills, and then we'll be right back That's and we'll talk about a couple more things. Life is about making memories. From our family to yours, Bailey's Fine Jewelry will help you mark all those special occasions with a gift that will last forever. From pearls to diamonds, Bailey's guarantees you will have the best jewelry experience possible. Our jewelry designers are here to assist you with all your custom design work. We work with you to ensure your complete satisfaction. For any occasion, Bailey's is sure to have that special gift for that someone special. Nothing shows you care more than a Bailey box. Life's full of unforgettable moments. Spend a moment in your Pandora store and experience the new collections. If you're shopping online and you're out of town or you can't come into our store to see the car, we have the tools to send a video directly to your smartphone. We looked at CarMax and a couple of other area local businesses, but nothing nothing compared to what we got here. Ultimately, the best price we found was, was Davenport. The online was nice because we could see all the inventory that was available online and we can even schedule our servicing online. Carolina Precision Firearms is the Twin County's ultimate gun shop. Rifles, shotguns and handguns, suppressors, scopes and ammunition. Our selection and quality is unmatched. And our expert craftsmen build customized products with state-of-the-art equipment to deliver the best firearms and suppressors on the market. Own your skills and test out your firearms at our state-of-the-art indoor range. And get your concealed carry license through one of our classes offered throughout the year. Carolina Precision Firearms at 2725 North Church Street in Rocky Mount. All right, welcome back to Tri County Live here on Wednesday night. And uh, again, I've got my guest, Anne Marie. I'm not even going to try the last name. I, I've butchered it once already. I think they'll flash it across. Yeah, the yeah. Then, uh, if if Lee can bring her name up, that'll help a little bit. You know what? Actually, I have something better. I have something better. I got a graphic. If you throw up that uh, that book slide there for me, Lee. Um, Anne Marie is also an author. And we're going to talk about her new book that she has just published. And uh, you can find it on Amazon and, and all over the place. Yes, Amazon, Kindle. There you um, go. There I am. Yes. Social Media Hello. Crisis <laughs> Communications Surviving a Public Relations Fail. So there you go. Again, that can be found on, on all those places we just listed Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Mm -hmm. Yes. E-book. Uh, it's an e-book. E-book, yep, excellent. So you can get instant gratification if you really need it. Throw it on your you iPhone, you can turn exactly. it on and start reading right away. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about social media crisis and, and public relations hashtag fail. We, we have a thing here, um, and you, you may or may not know this, but the, the guys who run our um, all-new sports show are all about social media. Oh, wow. And, and okay. they're all about um, their, their own brand of geekiness. And when we were doing okay. basketball and football, one of the things we turned into was um, hashtag put it on the grill, which was a relation to every time there's a three-pointer, it was sponsored by a local restaurant. And so we turned it into this momentum of using social media and, and branding and had a lot of fun with it. So well, well, let's talk about hashtag yes. fail. Okay, hashtag <laughs> fail. That's something as a business you never want attached to your name on social media. Because that means you didn't do a good job. Exactly. That's is that the right. new customer no service tag? Pretty much. I mm. mean, you know, it, it, people use the hashtag fail for numerous things. Like, oh, I had a, I had a bad day. Hashtag fail. Um, but for the most part, it is used um, to express a discontent with a situation uh, or a brand. And um, the reason why I wrote the book was I was finding that. Uh, there wasn't many resources in print mm -hmm. for you know, business owners, professionals um, to grab and use. I mean, mm -hmm. there's lots of blog posts out there. People are writing yes. about it. But there wasn't a real go-to, coherent um, 
publication that you could basically have on your bookshelf and reference quickly if you, one, needed to put together a crisis communications plan that included social media, mm -hmm. or you were actually in a crisis and you needed to figure out how are we going to manage this effectively. Now, crisis can apply in a, in a few different ways. It could be that, that small instance, or it could be a politician who has um, not lived up to his, his ethics, and instead of um, addressing them head on, snowballs into a uh, calamity, and it certainly turns into a, a snowstorm on the, uh, the social media in response to it and he you goes know, he should have admitted it or he's a failure or he's a clown hashtag fail and that stuff propagates hashtag wienergate <laughs> yes there, I, I was trying to uh, avoid that a little bit but you know you got the drift yes <laughs> yes well you know i i think uh, you know social media is just it is a great um channel mm -hmm. communications channel um but like with everything there's a yin and a yang right and unfortunately, that excitement and freedom to interact also brings the negative. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that, you know, I like to say social media is basically, um, you know, word of mouth on steroids. Mm -hmm. Word of mouth with, you know, a huge megaphone. Right. Um, so the smallest incident, incidents can become, you know, a huge... Mm -hmm blow up fairly quickly. Um, you know, in my book I talk about FedEx uh, and their package uh, debacle, the, the snafu video. The snafu. Ago, yeah. Actually, last fall. Yeah, yeah it, I mean, it hasn't been too far. It feels yeah. like it's been years ago. Right. But that's the thing. It was last so fall, yeah. Where the, the video, and this I think it was out of Atlanta, where they were taking the boxes and just throwing them. Oh, no, this was the one with the big TV monitor. Oh, that's what and it was. And the guy yeah. caught it on his security cam. Yeah. And, you know, of course, that happens right at the busiest time mm -hmm. for FedEx, which right. is Christmas, Christmas, holidays. the holiday season, um, and it went viral. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, it's kind of like Domino's with Ex the people who were who were messing up at Domino's. Exactly. I mean, the slightest thing can get amplified 